Hi, I'm Stephanie and this is Lauren and we are two of Festival's registered dietitians. We're joining you today to talk about one of our favorite produce pick, pomegranates. Lauren, what can you tell us? So pomegranates are kind of one of those more unusual fruits that not a lot of people purchase on a regular basis, but they are so good for you. So they're packed with um, nutrients like fiber, vitamin C, potassium, so they're really great to ward off colds. Awesome, and I know vitamin C definitely something that people are talking about during these cold months of the year. Um, and I will admit that I have never actually purchased a pomegranate. So can you tell me what I'm looking for when we're in the store? Absolutely. So in the store, you definitely want to pick up your pomegranate and feel how heavy it is. So the heavier the fruit, the juicier it's going to be. So that's definitely optimal. All right, so you that's kind of like a melon when you're picking out a melon in the summertime. Yes. Something heavy for its size. Yes, okay. exactly. The other thing you want to do is evaluate the skin and make sure there aren't any large blemishes on it, kind of like if you're looking for a potato. Uh -huh. um, you also want to feel around the pomegranate to make sure that it has a uniform hardness so there aren't any soft spots. Sure, okay, so then I take this whole fruit home and what do I do with it from there? Yes, the great thing about pomegranates is you can store it in a cool, dry place to your countertop for an up to a month or in the refrigerator for up to two months, which is really awesome. I was going to say, that's a very long shelf life. All right, so cutting and seeding, there's a lot of different stuff going on here. We have the whole fruit, what comes next? Right, so inside the whole fruit are hundreds of pomegranate seeds, and these are the most edible part. Now the part around is called the flesh. Uh -huh. That's also edible, but it's a little bitter and most people don't really eat it. Okay. So what we really wanna get after is getting those seeds out of here, the pomegranate seeds. All right, so how do we do that? Right, so it looks a little intimidating, but the best way that I found to do that is to slice it open just like we did here. Mm -hmm. Take your half a pomegranate fruit, and then fill up a bowl of water, one that's large enough that both your hands can kind of fit in. Okay. Grab a knife, and then what you're gonna do is just make slits. It's really small slits right around the fruit here. This is just gonna let it fan open right in the water. All right. Which is pretty cool. So this doesn't look too crazy yet, something I could no. definitely do at home. So once you slit it, you're mm -hmm. going to want to kind of put it in the water uh -huh. and then open it right up. Okay. Is that pretty hard to do or? Not once no. you get it in the water, it really makes it pretty flexible that you can really just open it up, fan it out like I talked about, and you'll start to see. Oh yeah, the seeds are the falling seeds right out of there. The seeds are falling right out. So the cool thing is that the seeds will sink to the bottom of the water. And that flesh that I talked about yeah. is going to rise to the top. So once you get all the seeds out here, I'm not going to get them all out right now. What you would do is you would take out, that obviously, the, the flesh of the pomegranate, which looks pretty neat. And it's a really fun activity to do with your kids to get them involved in cooking. Yeah. So you're going to take this out. And what you would do then is you would strain this. Uh -huh. um, you grab all the, the flesh off the top, strain it, and then you just had the seeds. All right. So then you have what we see in the bowls right here. Yes. Yep. So what you can do with these is... Certainly, you can store them in your refrigerator, mm -hmm. just like that, in an airtight container for okay. about three to four days. Or you can freeze them, which is really great. So just arrange them evenly on a baking sheet, um, put it in the freezer for about two hours or so until they're frozen. And then put them in yeah. the baggie. So similar to like what you do with regular berries when you go to freeze them. Yes, yep. I am loving really that easy. a unique produce item like this, actually, you do so many different things that you do with other produce as well. Yes. Cool. All right, so how to eat them. We've talked everything else, but that's the best part. Mm -hmm. So eating them is so much fun. I remember when I was little, my mom would buy them every once in a while. She'd cut them up and put them in the containers, and all of us kids would just sit around and eat it with a spoon. So mm -hmm. personally, that's my favorite way to eat them is just plain with a spoon. Okay. Um, but there are tons of other great ways to eat them. Um, you can put them in lots of different recipes. Some of them, my favorites that I have here today that are super simple. Sprinkle them on um, guacamole if you're entertaining. Just kind of dresses it up a little bit. You can see it's really pretty. I was going to say the color really pops and it just adds a little bit of flair to it. Yes, so a little bit of a sweetness and tartness. Um, also, you can make, uh, instead of using raisins in your ants and along with celery and peanut butter, put pomegranate seeds on there instead. You can see that they're really fun. They're great for you know lunches or after school snacks. So Yeah, I love that way. idea. And then something as simple, instead of using jelly in your peanut mm -hmm. butter and jelly sandwich or toast in the morning, just sprinkle some pomegranate seeds on. Yeah, I, one of the fruits I typically use is a banana for that, but this is just a, just a fun new way to think about it. Yes, really right. fun. So one of the other things you have here is the Palm Wonderful Juice. Yes, so if this is a little bit too involved for you. Um, another great option is 100% pomegranate juice. So it packs the same nutrition, you know, antioxidants, potassium, all that good stuff mm -hmm. into a juice that's really convenient. Awesome. So 
I mean, this is just wonderful tips. I know this, like I said, I've never purchased one before, but it's definitely something that will be going on my list. That's great. All right, so thank you again. Um, and if you would like any of this information, more information on the Palm Wonderful Juice, how to use it in different recipes, you can visit our website, festfoods.com, and click on the health and wellness link. Back to you guys.